Hey everyone, welcome back to part 4 of the full assembly process. Step by step, the jet is coming together and we're getting closer to the final product. The side curtain airbag is mounted to its bracket and the rear lid harness is set across the parcel shelf. From here, it's routed into the trunk, clipped along the support rod into the holes. This harness carries the lines for taillights, license plate lamps, trunk lock, and trunk handle. The lock connector is plugged in, while the lamp and handle wires are pulled through for later. A barcode is scanned into the system. The air conditioning unit is bolted to the firewall with an electronic torque wrench. A brake line connects between the stability system and the master cylinder, clipped to two brackets. A high-end torque gun worth over $27,000 secures the bolts on both ends. Any shop mechanic would dream of such a tool. Next, the brake lines for the left rear and front are prepared. A pressure line bracket is fixed to the right frame and clipped in. The covers are removed. The rear line is mounted to the stability unit, clipped and routed to the wheel. The front line is fed through the wheel housing, clipped and set to link to the caliper. Both ends connect back at the stability unit. The right side lines are done the same way. Baker bracket keeps them clear of contact. The wiring connector is plugged in and the speed sensor cable is fixed. The harness is laid along the hinge for later. Another barcode is scanned. Above the firewall, a clip is added for the oxygen sensor and heat shield. Another bracket holds the brake lines, and all four bolts on the stability unit are tightened. This system later keeps the car stable. When it senses a skid, it adjusts engine power and brake pressure automatically. After the first electrical test, the cable is removed. The MFT device is placed back on the rack for reuse. Vehicle identification stickers are applied on the windshield, under the hood, on the right A-pillar, in the trunk channel, and inside the rear lid. Next comes the sound insulation, reading lights, and the rear belts come next. The belt is mounted to the parcel shelf, the insulation pressed into its slots, a roof bracket is added to the child lock. The headliner is scanned into the system and two workers lifted in through the windshield, Connectors for USB, vanity lamps, sunshade, and controller are pulled through. Clips are snapped into the roof frame. The rear reading lamp is wired and locked in. The other side is done the same. Around the sunroof, every clip is pressed in. Now the air conditioning high pressure line is installed after its cap is removed. The low pressure line follows, then the copper pipe is connected between them and its nuts tightened. The assembly is removed, the copper pipe attached to the unit and the lines clipped to brackets on the frame. The harness is plugged in. The rear foot air duct is fitted, linking the dashboard vent to the seat frame. A height adjuster, nut, bolts, and belt are prepared. The adjuster is fixed to the pillar, the retractor bolted in, and the belt end secured.
A torque gun tightens the top bolt. The other side is done the same way. Screws, a ground cable, and a shield are readied. The shield mounts over the stability unit, copper pipe bolts are tightened, and a firewall heat pad is clipped on. The high pressure pipe is hung to avoid damage. The ground cable is fixed on its stud and tightened. The belt guide bracket is set with a bolt. Two license plate lights and center belt are prepared. The belt roots through the shelf, the retractor bolted, and the guide bracket clipped. The trunk lid is lowered, lamp connectors plugged, and both lights snapped in. The guide bolt is secured. Roof handles, a front belt guide, and vanity lights are installed. The belt runs into its guide, clipped to the pillar. The lamp plugged and pressed into the headliner. Handles snap in and lock. The door seal is lifted, the headliner edge pressed inside, and the rear armrest is added the same way. The sun visor and pillar trim are installed. The trim is scanned, visor wiring connected to its sensor wrapped and tucked in. The visor is mounted and clipped. The tweeter harness is wrapped. The pillar trim pressed into place. Barcodes on the body and belts are scanned. Retractors are bolted, harnesses plugged and all bolts tightened. A sponge pad is placed on the parcel shelf trim before pressing it on, with no wrinkles or misalignment. The trunk lamp harness is clipped, padded, pulled through and connected to the lamp before it's mounted. Three bolts and the engine mount are taken. Two are threaded, the mount set on the right frame, and the last bolt connects to the body. They are turned in, later tightened, followed by six bolts for the firewall insulation. Finally, the dome light assembly is unpacked, the microphone snaps into its slot, the connector is plugged, and the light is locked into place.